Earlier this week, the New York Times put together a massive report on how the Trump campaign, led by Brad Parscale of Parscale Strategies, has absolutely managed to take over the entire Republican Party apparatus. Everything from fundraising, through the data, reaching out to folks, Parscale has absolutely taken all of this all over and it's left a lot of people, specifically the old money in the GOP, you know, the, the Coke brother, because it's no longer plural now, and all these old guard Republican groups are not happy with this. They're not happy that Parscale has taken over and that Trump has essentially taken over. And it's a fascinating article, but it's a lot of stuff we all already knew. But there was one thing reading this article that, that really struck out, uh, stuck out to me. And I'm going to read it for you. These two paragraphs are absolutely phenomenal. According to two people with knowledge of the matter, Parscale strategy has also been used to make payments out of public view to Laura Trump, the wife of the president's son, Eric, and Kimberly Guilfoyle, the girlfriend of Donald Trump Jr., who have been surrogates on the stump and also taken on broader advisory roles. Their presence makes for an odd dynamic between a campaign manager and a candidate's family. During a campaign appearance last summer in Orlando, Ms. Guilfoyle confronted Mr. Parscale asking why were her checks always late? Two people who witnessed the encounter said a contrite Mr. Parscale promised that the problem would be sorted out promptly by his wife, Candace Parscale, who handles the books on many of his ventures. All right, honestly, Guilfoyle, I can understand the fact that you have to pay her to show up to these events with her boyfriend, but Laura Trump? She's married into your family. Like you're kind of locked in at that point. You should have to go to these events, whether you want to or not, without getting paid. But this is disgusting. Parscale Strategies has billed the RNC about $35 million for advertising and, you know, data mining and paying the Trump family women to appear at events. I mean, if you really cared about the person you're married to or the person you're dating, you would do this without having to be paid for it. That's kind of disgusting, but it also gives us a very clear picture of what you're all about and why you're in this relationship to begin with. I'm sorry, folks, but that's the way it is. Now, what's also odd about this is not just that, oh, well, you're a family member, you shouldn't be paid. Most people who show up and just do campaign events don't get paid for it. Unless, of course, it's an act, right? If you have a musical act, typically they want to be paid. If you have some kind of performer, typically they want to be paid. But just to show up and do a quick rally, y you don't get paid for that. But the Trump women, absolutely. And as this little article points out, if you're late on that check, you can expect all hell to break loose, at least with Mrs. Guilfoyle. I know what a lot of you out there are thinking. You're thinking, wouldn't it be amazing if you could wear the Ring of Fire logo across your chest? Well, now you can just head on over to our Teespring page to find some awesome merch we're offering for our viewers. We have more designs that are gonna be added in the near future, so just follow the link in the description or take a peek at the shelf of merchandise under this video. Thanks for watching.